there's so many artists now trying to become country music stars. And so you need something different now. And you need something after your name for radio to look at you or media to look at you or, and I think it's that Samantha McClymont Toyota Star Maker winner. It's kind of that extra little bonus you can put on the end of your name for people to notice you. Obviously there have been some very, very high profile winners of Toyota Star Maker and obviously Keith Urban leaps to mind. It seems extraordinary that a winner of Star Maker is now the face of American country music. It's quite extraordinary. Um, but it also says a lot about the opportunities that open up to people that win Star Maker. It's got a long history. It's got a lot of extremely positive and successful winners in its history. And you mentioned the word club, and it is sort of a club. Um, I mean, we don't walk around like you need a membership or anything like that, but it is kind of a family. There's just some incredible opportunities for anybody who wins a Star Maker now. Uh, not only do you get an album deal, uh, nationwide publicity, uh, a music video, you, you also get a car, you get your petrol for tour support for the whole year because you're going to be doing a whole lot of travelling and you get just incredible industry support which takes you to the top of the queue in this business. 29 years of Toyota Star Maker winners. From the solid platform it gave them, some have launched into never dreamed of international careers. Others have a string of hit records to their credit, successful songwriting careers, sold out tours, and others ply their trade quietly on the back roads of country music. And what can never be taken away from them is what they have in common, and that is the respect accorded to the exclusive club. That is being a Toyota Star Maker winner. Behind me, this year's finalists are rehearsing for their big chance of being Toyota Star Maker. But that's another story for another time.